I think we're on. Hey, hey guys. Did you say horse girl? <laughs> horse girl. So I'm Sickle Wednesday. Uh, my name is Tracy. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company, and you are on the Dixie Bell Paints Facebook and Instagram's page. Um, we are here in my shop, San Antonio, Texas, is where I'm coming to you from. Uh, I've been with Dixie Bell for almost four years. We go live every single Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And we, are, we always, pretty much always, are working on something that is in my shop, um, a custom order for one of my clients. And so that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, you may remember a while back we painted over a course of a long time. Uh, an entire set of kitchen cabinet doors and they were I know a lot of you do remember they're really crazy um, We still haven't seen the final product up on her kitchen cabinets Actually, I have but I haven't been able to share it because I haven't had her permission yet I haven't received her her blessing to share those yet <coughs> Excuse me um, But as soon as I do I will share them. They look amazing. Uh, they were uh, painted with the golf actually, which was a, uh, the golf. Let me grab the golf real quick. I forgot to get that over here. Hi, uh, Patricia, Melissa, Cricket, Cricket? Yes, Cricket. Okay. Juana, Brittany, got a, got a lot of the regulars on. Awesome. Good to see you. Yeah, you guys say hello. Matt is my husband and he is manning the camera right behind the camera there. And so he will relate any questions that you might have. Or if you just want to say hello, Matt, look for Debbie Gray will be on okay. tonight on Facebook. Look for her. Um, okay. Let me know if she's on. Anyway, this is the golf right here. It's one of my fav favorite colors. And this is what her kitchen cabinets were based in. Um, and then, this, so this was the background of all the florals. We aren't going to be using the golf on this door at all. Um, but we are keeping in mind everything that she had going on on her kitchen cabinets. So, with that said, she brought me her pantry door. So her kitchen, you know, is sort of like in a kind of an octagon circular shape with cabinets in all directions. And on one angled wall was this pantry door right here. And it was just white and it just stuck out like a sore thumb because her cabinets are all around uppers and lowers. And um, they are very, very colorful, very whimsical. Um, and are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. We just we got people on from Australia and Greece and England and Ireland and all over the world. And, and does anyone have a boring door? I don't have a boring pantry door anymore. I painted my pantry door in French linen, um, my pantry door in my utility room doors, um, and I added Wichita molds as well. But we're not going to add any molds. But I wanted to show you what color her kitchen cabinets are. In addition to this, lots of florals and lots of black and white checks and things like that. So she brought me her door and we're going to paint it. Um, so I'm going to tell you exactly what the reason I'm not going to ask you to do what I'm doing on the store right here. Although you, you should try it because it's fun. It's fun to add a lot of personality in a very unexpected place. However, the same thing that I'm doing here is, is no different. You can use any color of paint you want. So we're actually going to be using peony in just a minute, or peony in just a minute. Do you do I expect that a lot of people are going to paint a hot pink door? No, I don't. But you paint a hot pink door in the same way that you paint a gray door, or a French linen door, or a black door, or a white door. You do the same thing. So I'm going to give you some little tips um, on painting doors because uh, we get asked that a lot. When I painted my front door, it was super popular and people wanted to know, how do you do that? So I'm gonna show you. Um, okay, hi Lynn, hi Laura, hi Anna. Got a lot of people on here. So already, this is one side of the door that I've already painted. I did not prime it. All I did was wash it with white lightning, which is Dixie Bell's cleaner. Uh, washed both sides with white lightning. Um, just to take off any grease, I mean, especially because it's been in a kitchen, it had a lot of fingerprint. We took the doorknob off, the hardware off of it, um, and it had a lot of, you know, old fingerprints and dirt around this area. Um, so I cleaned it off really well and, and then rinsed the white lightning. So you need to clean well uh, with, your, with your white lightning, and then you need to rinse it. Are you okay? You're making these faces. Oh, I'm shocked. Christy said, Matt, I saw your pic on Instagram. You need to do a, a crest whitening strip commercial. Your, your teeth are gorgeous. <laughs> we were just talking about having all my just teeth redone. Like, <laughs> it's so funny that you well, just thank said you. that. Oh my gosh. 
I wonder if I was put on a filter or something. That's so funny. I, I think it was the sunset one, and it does cast, like, amazing light. Um, anyway, that's really sweet. So I cleaned it well, rinse it really well because you need to get all the white lightning off so that your paint will adhere. This door, this is what it looks like on the other side. This is how she brought it to me. It doesn't really look any different. This is the factory paint. This is what she got from her house. You can see it has a nice sheen to it. It looks really good. It's just too boring. She put something else. This is the inside of the door. This is inside the pantry. Valerie Vickers is freezing up. Valerie, if you'll get out of Facebook and log back in, it should fix it. Okay, so what I've done is I've painted it in fluff on Hi, this Laura. side. Now you might ask if it already the white paint looked as good as it did on the other side and I want to do a design on it, why did I paint it white again? Because I want to have the same type of finish. So I'm planning on doing black design black and white designs on this side. This is the outside. Um, this is what you're gonna see with all of the kitchen cabinet pantry. I mean all of the kitchen cabinets. Um, so I wanted to have the same finish. So I put a coat of fluff all over it. I've already done that because in a minute we're going to flip it around to the side again and I'm going to start doing my black design on this side. I'm going to talk y'all through it. The side that you're going to be able to, my client doesn't even know this by the way. So she just lets me do whatever I want, which is so fun. It's so fun. So uh, what I'm going to do is a certain pattern and it's gonna be all black and white because I don't want to distract from all of the color and whimsy that's going on around it. I want to complement it. And I didn't want to pull a single color, I just want to stick with the black and white. Every single cabinet set of doors all the way around her kitchen has small hints of black and white, tiny black and white stripes or tiny black and white checks amongst a bunch of other wild and crazy colors. So I pulled the black and white, which I call grounding colors when you're working with design. They're, they're colors that are seen as a neutral together. Even when we use them together in a pattern, it doesn't matter if it's a crazy pattern. If it's black and white, it's still, your eye still sees it, sees it as a neutral. So that's what I'm doing on the side that you will see. But as a surprise, when she opens her pantry door, which is visible, from her family room. So if she's having a guest over and they're all hanging out in the family room and she's in her kitchen and she's cooking for everyone and she opens her amazing pantry door in her amazing kitchen, she opens her pantry door, they're gonna get a surprise on the inside even. So this inside, we're gonna paint together right now and we're gonna go over the basics of door painting. Right. It's gonna be <clears throat> hot pink. Hot pink with a little bit of shadowing. So we're going to use peony or peony is how I call it, what I call it. Um, and if we have some time tonight, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, color wash with Plum Crazy. So I'm going to do peony with Plum Crazy on top of it. So this is peony, peony. I'm not going to be someone I'm not. I don't say peony. I say peony. So peony. This is peony. This is pink. And this is Plum Crazy with a Plum Crazy. That sounded exactly the same to me. They do? Peony and what? Peony and peony. Oh, peony. Yeah, you just peony emphasize Peony and peony. Real quick here, and I talked to an investor today from Washington. They're over 100 degrees, what? which this time of year is about 85, and they start wow. freaking out. So they're going to have a rough weekend. Wow. Wow, you guys. Sorry. Sorry about you. Yeah. That's Texas weather. Yeah, we're used to that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is the process. It's been cleaned. Um, it's been rinsed with water, dried, it's ready to go. It's nice and shiny. We're about to change that because we're going to give it a chalk paint look. Now, I will tell you, I'm using chalk mineral paint. It's my favorite product. However, Dixie Bell also carries another line of paint called Silk, and it is amazing, and I use it on a lot of projects, but if you're wanting to do anything blendy, it doesn't blend as well. You can, you can, but it is a great one color paint. And that is really good for doors. It's really good for out of your front doors because it's got UV, uh, UV resistant and fade resistant and um, has a top coat built into it. So we could just paint this door in silk and, be, and walk away and be done. Um, but I like the chalk paint colors plus all the silk colors. Um, let me show you. Hi Lynn, hey Dana. Hi Julie. So these are color fan decks, right? So this is the chalk paint line. <laughs> That's how many colors there are. This is the silk paint line. That's how many colors there are. Huge difference, right? So this is the chalk mineral paint line and I'm kind of a color lover. I like lots and lots of 
bright, bold colors. So you can see them all here. See, look at this, aren't they gorgeous? Okay, the silk line is very, very, very practical line. It's a beautiful line, has a gorgeous finish on it. It doesn't dry chalky. It has a matte finish, but it's not chalky. But they're very subtle. This is the boldest of the color right there, these two top ones. So if you like these colors and you want a super, super simple finish, I, I would also recommend trying silk right here. We have silk in our laundry room. That's what all the black and white stripes are. Yeah, I room. like that and I like it more because the silk brush is awesome. Oh, he, he likes the, that, for it, the scarlet. That red like brush. The scarlet brush. Okay, do. so babe, I, don't, I can't find our other tray. Do you know where this other tray is? I'm gonna need another tray in just a minute. So I'm going to use um, a roller, guys, tonight, but I'm going to start out using my flat small brush. I think this is probably available on the website. I think the flat smalls are still in stock. Uh, this is a synthetic brush. It works beautifully with the silk paint and with the chalk mineral paint. Um, but I'm also going to use a roller because we have a lot of flat surface right here, um, and I want to reduce as much brush strokes as possible. It's very possible to do that with this brush but a roller really does it on a flat surface. So that works work. good, babe, that works good. All right, so I'm just gonna pour my uh, peony straight into my tray. Take, out, take the excess off here. Where'd you get those color cards? Uh, I think you, they're, those fan decks, I think you can get those on the website. Oh, I'm okay. almost positive. Instagram uh, switched. Is uh, the rest of you Instagram viewers, are you able to see the feed or are you, are you frozen? What happened? Um, Lynn Avery said, no, uh, Dana Perry said that, uh, no, not her either. Okay, what did they say? Where'd it go? <laughs> uh, Diane Johnson, Instagram stopped, so she made the switch to Facebook. Oh, well, does it look like we still have people viewing? It looks like we got people on there. Okay, just leave it. There's hearts coming. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. I'm not sure what happened, but we're good. Log out, log back in. Okay, so I am going to be using a roller, but if you have a door that has insets like this, you want to take care of those deep insets first. And I do that with a flat, small brush. Oh, the, someone asked about the Fandex. So the color yeah. Fandex, these are great to carry in your purse, you guys. They're really, really good. Especially if you're shopping around and you're wanting to match up a color, you know, fabric or sofa or pillows or anything like that, and you know colors that you're wanting to match it with, this works really, really well. Um, and I think you can get these if you my link is listed at the top of this video Instagram when this video is over I share my link um, by my IGTV and you can follow that link um, and look for these on the website and anything else that we're using you can also follow that link over to find your local retailer in your area and they may carry them as well um, people are loving your shirt tonight oh really I never wear it it fits weird it's I've never weird. seen it I have like three of them, and they have this liner. Y'all see that? I had to cut it out. Like it, that that was like this thick, and you had to fold it in, and then it was always falling out. It fits weird. So it's my paint shirt with my paint britches. Remember, these are my paint britches that I roll up because they are a weird fit from Target. Thank britches. She wasn't born in the forties, but okay, she still so says britches. Okay, so I'm gonna be first. Let's get some paint going. <laughs> And don't make fun of my speech. So I'm doing my insets first, just like this. You don't have to be neat about it. Just get the inset because your roller isn't really going to get in there. And you can deliver as much paint in here as you want. Just get it in there and spread it around. Now, I don't need to do this because that right there I'm going to do with the roller. Okay? So we're just getting in here, getting in all the little nicks and crannies. Just like this. Now the white, when I did the white, I did it in one coat. It, it was just a one coat job. That was, that was it. So here we go, just like that. Now what you do wanna pay attention to is you don't really wanna leave all this like that. So at least come over here and feather it out so that you don't end up, I'm just, I'm just like, like that. I don't know what that is. So She's just, poofing. I call it feathering. I just wanna feather out those edges, just like that. Just feather that out. So you don't have any like hard ridges as you go work on the rest. Looks terrible, right? Doesn't it look terrible? But you've got your inset done. You are done. Now this door has an embedded wood grain in it, so you don't really have to worry about brush strokes. If you have a super slick flat door, um, you are you probably want to use a little bit of a mist of water. 
Also, if you have a door that's very flat and metal, if you're working on a metal door, you for sure should use slick stick first. If it's a metal door that's been factory sprayed, you probably want to use Dixie Bell slick stick. A coat of slick stick, let it dry overnight. A second coat of slick stick, let it dry, and then put your paint down. If you're working on a wood door that has stain on it, you probably want to use a coat of boss first. A coat of boss. I prefer Boss Gray. It will block that dark stain color, especially if you're trying to go white or a pale gray or something like that, super trendy. Um, you probably want to use Boss. Not that I wasn't listening to you, but Bonnie, I think you just addressed this. Bonnie says, do you have slick stick on the door? Oh, that's awesome. No, I no, I do not. And you don't need it on this door. I just did not need it. This door's got enough uh, tooth already. It's got the wood grain. It's fake. It's a fake wood grain but it's got it in there already. And uh, the factory paint on it, you just don't need it. I, I would only use slick stick if I were painting over uh, like a factory spray metal door. Otherwise, if it's a wood door, you don't need to. If it's a pine wood door or something like that, you for sure you want to prime it, you want to use gloss. Okay, again, same thing. I don't want to leave those hard edges, so I'm just going to go back. I'm going to feather that out. Doesn't have to be neat. Y'all can see the wood grain kind of, that's kind of cool. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm, it's kind of cool. That's called dry brushing, by the way. That's a dry brushing effect. Casey like says that. they know who's wearing their britches in the family. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Now, you know what? Matt and I share the britches. I zip my pants up on the side. We share the britches. I'm the boss on some things in this family, and he's the boss on other things. All right, pretty cool, right? So we're gonna go up here, do the same thing. Will boss stop rust on a metal door, kind of spotted with the rust? Uh, or do you have to kill the rust first? Maybe put some kills or something oh on there? Gosh, what would be the best thing to do that? I am thinking, I am thinking maybe the prime, uh, the patina guard, right? Isn't that what that's called? I'm thinking, not the, yeah, the patina guard, the prep, for the patina, I'm thinking that might work because that stops the patina, Dixie Bell's patina, um, from resting all the way through. It stops the resting process. So I'm thinking that might work. That's a really good question. I don't think that's a good question. Is particularly what that would, what would do that, but I think that that would work. It's part of the patina collection on the website. It's the primer. What was your question, babe? Uh, I had no question. I don't think. Okay. Beyond good. beyond the rest. I'm trying to think. Why am I drawing a blank as to what that name is? Hold on. People are loving the outfit. People like my outfit? Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, hold on, guys. Oh, Debbie Gray's here. And she said, tell her it was me. Who, who said it was her? Debbie said it was... Prime star. Here we go. It's not patina guard. Okay, guys. Patina patina guard is what you put on after you've done the patina uh, reaction. This is called prime star, and you use it on anything metal to protect the metal surface before you start the reactive process, so that it doesn't rust through your door. So maybe this would stop the rusting process. I I love to hear someone else's input. Debbie, did Matt say you're on? She's on. I'm with my britches. Uh, does she, is she going to ask that question? I don't know if I scroll too far back. Hi, uh, Debbie. Let's see here. I'm Sorry, so Debbie, I'm not on. very good with the the name connected to the comment when the feed's coming through. Oh, uh, you can order them on the Dixie Bell website. No, that's Dana, not Instagram stopped. Do y'all see, uh, do y'all see right here how I did this real lightly over this? That's, that's, when you hear people talk about dry brushing, that's actually... Well, not, not for health, not like dry brushing your lymphatic system, but dry brushing paint. Um, that is what dry brushing would look like, and it brings out the, the texture in the door that's already there. Okay, I'm going down here. I'm doing the inset still. And then we'll use our roller in this, this side. We will let dry while we turn it over and start working on the design on the other side. It's so like I'd love speed to know, painting. Huh? It's like speed painting, like a speed walk. Oh, yeah. Did someone say that or that you did? No, I'm just, uh, you're going to finish that door in like 
seven minutes. You know what? I've, ha I've thought about before having like a speed painting contest or some, I think I've talked about it on here before about having like a marathon. See how, how long I could stay up. You know, could I do a 48 hour marathon? How many people would join me for a 48 hour marathon? Yeah, who's going to film that? Or a 24 hour marathon? Uh, just a tripod, a book and a tripod. Yeah. I mean a book, a book, a book. Debbie says it helps to get the extra paint out of the brush too. What does? No, I don't know. I'm just reading <laughs> comments here. <Matt. laughs> oh, prime start. Debbie's wanting to know. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with getting the paint out of the brush. No, but there was a different comment. Did you prime it before you started? Oh, this? Yes. No. No. What'd you put on there? White lightning. White lightning. White lightning. I just washed it with white lightning, rinsed it really well. I'm just feathering out my edges here. And that's it. Yeah, we talked about priming at the beginning. You would just really need to prime if you were painting over a stained wood door and you were trying to go light with your paint. Or uh, if you had a metal painted door, you might want to use slick stick. So, um, Lori is asking, can you use rust paint on a metal patio table and chairs? Yes, you can. So, do you? what do you want to do with them, Lori? Um, of course, Matt! What? No, it's, it's already rinsed. I just need you to put it on. Just put it on. Oh, it's wet now. Well, can you dry it? Um... Lori, he's walked away, so if I, if you have another, I've got to ask you a question, so I'm going to wait till he gets back, uh, because I need to know an answer to a question. So you asked if you could use the rust paint. Are you talking about the patina paint on metal table and chairs? You can, but you need to use that, uh, you need to use that prime, you need to use this first, the prime star. Use this first. And that protects your metal chairs and table. And then when you do the patina on it and it starts to react, it, this will create a barrier between the reaction process and your metal so that it doesn't react all the way through your metal. Where's this door going? In her office? It's in her kitchen, right? The lady that I'm painting it for? Yeah, is going this door. In her, this is her pantry door. So this is the inside of her pantry door. We're also painting the outside of it, but the inside, but we're doing two totally different looks. So the inside, when they oh, when she opens the pantry door, she gets the surprise. Um, the outside will be different. Okay, so now I am, thank you, Benny. Mm -hmm. So now I've got my roller. I'm just gonna stand up and start rolling over here. This is, look how fast this is. So fast, so easy. You don't have to worry about your insets because you've already painted them. I always look a little awkward when I paint on live because I do it at angles that I would not normally do this. And normally I would have this table laid down across saw horses and I'd be painting like this. We're trying to reconnect to Facebook. All right, we're back. What? I don't and know. Maybe because we have 500 teenagers over. Okay, so do you see this right here? I'm going in now and painting these centers just like that. And this one. You want to babysit, make sure, I always call it babysit your paint. You want to babysit your drips, make sure you don't have any drips. Here. I probably will paint the edges pink and not white, but I will decide that at the very end when I'm through with both sides. What color is the other side going to be? This color? No. It's going to be black and white. Are you using a special roller? Uh, it's a foam roller. I think this is a foam roller. No, this one's not foam. Instagram froze. We must be having some uh, internet issues periodically. I don't know what this is called. This fuzzy, if you want to hold that up there for them, the gray side. I don't know what that's called. It's not, it's off trying to reconnect. They're back. Turn your internet off. Uh, actually, I think it's because we're getting close to the camera. Um, this is a medium roller for that, uh, Probably a four inch, six inch. So I just get, you just can get them at your hardware store. Whatever. I just use whatever I have here. Now notice this grain goes different in a different direction here on the middle. So imagine you may not want to do a hot pink door, 
Um, Amber says flocked, maybe? What is that? Um, it is flocked, but it's weird. They're gray. I've never had a gray flocked one before, so I don't know. But I try to go with the, the direction of the grain. So that's sideways, so I'm going sideways. The sides are up and down. Curious and Creative says we're good on Insta. Oh, good. Thank you. So we're back. On. We're back, baby. Okay, I'm going to sit right in front of the door. Sorry. Matt can talk to you guys. What do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> y'all talk to Matt. Ask Matt some questions. They get quiet. You talk to them, babe. They get quiet. There's that delay. Hi, from North Yorkshire. Love the color. Spelled British. I like it when people spell color C-O-L-O-U-R. Yeah, we get that a lot. A lot of European. Amanda you know. says there's a full moon. Facebook's coming in and out. Is that Peony? Just hopped on from Brandon, Florida. Hi, yes, Kendra. It is. It sure is. My favorite Peony. Pink. Peony, my favorite pink. So it will require, this will require a second coat. Ashley's in from Plano. Hello. Hello, Ashley. So I'll let this dry. It will require a second coat. Even though I do plan to use a plum, I'm going to use plum crazy wash over this. And what that'll do is just settle in the cracks of these, um, the, in, the insets. It'll settle into a little bit of the insets and just keep it from being so, you know, one solid color. I don't really, I never really like anything that's just like one solid color. Barbie color, she said. Is this, is your name Zirsa? It is a Barbie Hello color. Hello from it's Buffalo, good. New York. All right. Neatville. So, let me... Dry this for just a second. Um, we will just talk about whatever for a minute. I'm going to dry the top of it so I can flip it around and we can work on the other side. So, um, question on Instagram: What did she put on first? Any primer? No primer. No, no primer. I used. I cleaned it with white lightning and washed it, rinsed it really well, and then I just painted it. This is one single coat of peony. Curious Creative Kara says she's totally down for a hot pink door. She's trying to convince the hubby. What do you think about a... Are you talking about a front door? Oh, 100%. Yes. If, our, if my roof wasn't red clay tile, I would have a hot pink door. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some clay on the bottom of that and then I'm going to put some clay on the bottom of that. Ashley says she loved your mailbox, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we can do one of those on here one night. Again. Cool color. Hi, Hi Cindy Rocky. from Tacoma. You might think you're frying up there in the sun. All right, I'm just trying to dry the top because I want to flip it. Tanya from Brandon, Florida. That should be good. And we're going to go into the design on the other side just for about 10 more minutes. About 10 minutes. You're right, Dana. That's a total Florida door. Maybe with some flamingos in the yard. Uh -huh. Remember, it's going to get a color wash of this deeper, much deeper pink um, on top of it. So the final will not look just like this, but as long as you're following me on my page on Tracy's Fancy, you will for sure get a an after photo. All right, so we'll turn this around. Janice from Ontario. Hello, Janice. There we go. Babe, I'm going to need your straight edge, that real super long one, please. Okay, up next, phase two, this is the side that you see, I just hit my own nose. You're going to get pink paint on my straight edge? No, I'm not painting on the pink. Oh. Um, this is the side that you'll see from the kitchen. Dana wants to see your mailbox. Uh, who does? Dana Ott. Okay, you want to bring it to me? It's in the box. Can you, can you slide it out of there carefully? Um, this side is going to be the side that you see, and it will be a black and white pattern, and then when she opens the door, it will be the hot pink, which I think is super fun. Um, so, what I'm going to do on this side is my... Short answer is no. You can't get it out. Here. Just turn the box. There you go. Hold on. He's getting the mailbox. I posted my mailbox today on Tracy's Fancy app. Careful. It's a 
tight fit. Okay. It's in the box. There we go. I don't have gator head on it yet because we just got home from the beach, but this is in the box. I posted it today. You saw it over on Tracy's Fancy. I tagged Dixie Bell. This is the back. Other side. Cindy Higginbottom's wondering why you have no paint on your hands yet. She'd be covered in paint. Really? That took years of practice. It did. Because almost every stitch of clothing she owns has paint on it. I have a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little a bit. A little bit. Okay, so does anyone want to guess while Matt's behind the camera what pattern I'm going to put on here? Okay, so Matt's going to put on this pattern. Matt's going to put on this pattern. Checks. Is that you guessing? Yes. I'm not asking you. I'm asking them. But I'm answering. But you need to let them answer. Okay. Who wants to guess? Larry says, OMG, beautiful. Linda, hello from Iowa. Janice, that's so beautiful. Anyone guessing? I know there's a delay. Harlequin. Debbie Gray says Harlequin. I'm not. Is that Debbie. a good guess? Good guess. I figured someone would say check. Someone would say stripe. Someone would say Harlequin. I'm doing the sunburst pattern. Oh, I love it so much. I love all those patterns, but this pattern, Harlequin. Starburst, Tammy guessed it. Yes, she did. I yeah. call it sunburst, but yeah, starburst, sunburst. So I love it. It's a playful pattern. Um, the others tend to go, sometimes get, the Harlequin especially gets a little serious. Um, <laughs> even though I have it on my wall in my house. Um, this, her cabinets were super, super playful. So. And she has, there's a sunset on one of them where I did the sunburst pattern. So it's going to be in all black and white. And I'm going to do it from the doorknob. Nancy so, Lindsay guessed cow. And I never see you paint cow. That's funny because Zadie painted cow on her wall. That's right. Yeah. She did. So we're going to do it from the, the uh, doorknob, which means it's going to go in like, you know, across and out from That's one side idea. like that. So what you can do is if you have a really long straight edge, you can start with your straight edge and you always need to have your pivotal point or your center. So what, wherever you're deciding, let's say uh, I wanted it to be right here. You know, you would mark your center and then you would do trace your uh, lines out from that point. But we are doing it from the, from the doorknob. So you would just take your straight edge, whatever's long enough. And I don't measure y'all. I don't. I just don't. I just go for it. Just like it's just like naturally just burst out. That's what I do. So usually I start with my middle, you know, and I'll draw a line across and then I'll kind of lift it up a little bit from there, lift it up a little bit from there and just kind of keep going like that and draw lines. And I would probably not even use a pencil. Um, I would probably use, I have a marker here. So you can trace out your pattern with a marker or a pencil. And um, if you're doing it on a black painted surface or a dark painted surface, a piece of white chalk works really, really well. Um, so that's that. Or you can just use tape if you want to. If if it's if 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 it's if 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 it's uh, if it's not too far of a distance that would keep you from um, being able to do that. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do it straight across like this will be my first line, just like that. How do y'all like the back of her shirt? What is the back of my shirt? I don't know, turn around again. Is uh, on there? Bunch of words. Really? Yeah. Okay, so now this is my little pivotal point. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my tape up here a little bit because I didn't want it as bad as that. I remember I'm gonna have this be one color inside here. So I'm going to take this piece of tape and my ray is going to be about, I'm going to make it about that big. So I'm just going to pull it across straight just like this and tape it just like that. Now you may wonder, well what are you going to do because you have these insets. I'm not worrying about the insets right now. I'm going to treat the insets as a separate piece. I'm going to complete them but I'm going to paint those later and draw them out later. Right now, I'm going to focus on the main pattern. So inside here will be either you know black or white, whichever I decide to do first. So now um, let's do one about 
like, I don't, I like them to be all a little bit different. So I'm gonna do one about that big. Lisa says, reminds me of the painting she did. The painting she did. The painting she did. Which painting? I'm not sure, that's why I asked you. <laughs> I don't know, Lisa. Lisa, what you talking about? Ah, Sue Walters is on, hi Sue. Hey Sue, hi honey. Melissa Upton loves it. Melissa, I love me some Sue and some Melissa. Okay, so that's that. So this will be one, no that'll be one. That goes inside there. And then, right? And then I'll have to take that off. So right now, so you're going to do the lower yeah, I mean, interior? I have to think about this because usually I draw this first. So this will be white. This is all going to be white. And everything inside here will be black. Oh, and she's saying it reminds you of the canvas painting with all the words on it that you did. You know, the canvases that you put all those words on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I did the pineapple on top of it or um, the pan thinking. Sorry, I got to think. This will be white, this in here is black, this in here is white, I need to do my next black. So, I'm gonna go, see that guys? I just, I don't plan it out. I just start going for it. She's winging it. Pull my tape straight, and then tuck it under my door, just like that. Again, I'm not pressing it into the inset, I'm gonna do the inset later. So, so this will be white, this will be black, this will be white, and this will be so while you're putting tape, you do every other one so you can go back and retape. Yes, yes. So just so you don't com get confused if you want, sometimes I do like this. I'll go like that. Just and so you know. Don't paint that, you know. Yeah. Don't paint that. It's a good idea. Yeah, that's what you could do. Um, okay, so then do I, if this is going to be black, is that too much black? I think I need to divide it one more time. I think I need to make one more Right. Zaisa is signing off from Greece. Goodbye. Bye, hon. Thank you for joining us. I'm probably butchering that name. black, white, and this means don't paint this. Don't paint that. And this, did you see this, how it doesn't go all the way up to the doorknob? So I need to fix that. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What am I going to do? New tape. I do. I have to do new tape. He is right. Let's see if I can flip it. It's just the top. Let's flip it. Because I want it to go all the way up. Like that. That works. Work. Didn't waste the tape. All right, so this will be black. So it's be black, white, black, white, black. So I'll just keep going like that. And then, of course, you all know what I'm going to do next. And that would be, um, I need to go in and, these pants really are difficult to keep at. Um, I will go in and burnish my tape with a little bit of white with my finger. Um, I'll just put a little bit of white on there and burnish the edges so that when I paint my black, it doesn't go underneath there. So that's the beginning. I hope that that makes sense to y'all. I'm going to carry that up and around over on the other side. Um, and she will get this amazing black and white starburst, sunburst, whatever you want to call it, on one side. And then have a really cool hot pink pop of surprise on the other side. All done with Dixie Bell paint. This is fluff, and I'll be using caviar. The other side was peony. And um, what else did I use? Oh, I used a flat, small brush and white lightning. If you need to prime, I'm going to recommend Slick Stick for any super slick doors, and I'm going to also recommend Boss and Gray if you're painting over dark wood doors and you're trying to go light in color. Are you using silk or chalk? I'm using the chalk mineral paint, but we did talk about silk paint. And silk paint is amazing on doors, um, so you definitely could use that. If I were using silk right now, I'd be using salt water and caviar is what I would do on this side. Um, but I wanted them to be the same product, and I was using the hot pink on the other side, and so it doesn't have any of those like hot colors like that. So, 
Um, that's it, you guys. Thank y'all for joining me so much. I have my link at the bottom of this. If you guys saw anything that you want to try and you'd like to um, order, I appreciate it. You can order online and um, have it delivered to your door. And I get a kickback from that from Dixie Bell for um, suggesting these products. And you can also use my link to go over to the zip code search and find a, a retailer in your area as well. Um, and then I am heading over to my page over on Tracy's Fancy. If y'all want to give me a follow over there, I would love that. And we will carry on with the rest of this project. And I think in just about 15 minutes right here on the Dixie Bell page, um, Emily Roth with uh, Weather Heart Designs comes on right behind me. Um, I have no idea what she's working on tonight, but she's a doll. And um, stick around if you want to watch her project. And we will see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you for joining. See ya. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye.